Hi, in this video, I am going to talk about uh, some of the most important big data tools that you can learn to get into uh, big data analytics. Okay, so first, uh, so what is big data? So those of you who are hearing for the first time, so big data, as the name suggests, is just a large data. Okay, and large data has always been there. It's nothing new. It's just that the volume of data that has grown up in the last, you know, maybe a decade or so has become so big that, you know, we're calling it as a big data. Earlier, even the large data set, we wouldn't call them as big data, but the name has you know, or is, has got some importance now. So big data now is not going to be big data maybe uh, five years down the line. Okay, the the volume of data that will be called as big data five years down the line will be different. So in, in short, we can say that, you know, big data is just large data set and it has got variety of data, different uh, variety of data, it's large variety of data and it's high frequency data. Okay, and you get big data in all kinds of businesses, whether it's finance or marketing, you know, we have social media data and, and so on. You could have, you know, tons of data in medical and clinical research, uh, in, in scientific research and so on. So it's now being harnessed, you know, in all kinds of uh, business, scientific research, government uh, and, and so on. So big data is stored in, you know, some sort of a different kind of tools, as you might know if you're already familiar with Big digital technology. The uh, the traditional technology data, uh, the traditional database systems are not suitable to keep, uh, you know, let's say gigabyte of data, okay, and, and even bigger data. Okay, so there's many you know niche tools that are being used for big data technology. One of them is MongoDB. It's one of the most popular one. It's free and it's open source software. It's it handles what is known as the NoSQL uh, you know structure. Uh, for querying as opposed to the SQL and it's now being used in uh, across many uh, companies. The other second one is the, the Cassandra. It, it's again an open source uh, project. Uh, so it relies on distributed database management system. Uh, it, it basically was started uh, by Facebook and later on it you know, became a, a more of an open source and many other developers uh, communities started contributing towards this project. Spark is another one. It, it's mostly on cluster computing. So you have several computers, uh, several uh, computers or servers. It combines the power of multiple servers uh, to perform tasks. So it, it's basically uh, known as cluster computing, which you know, which harness the computing power of so many uh, computers or servers. Started by the Apache Software Foundation. That is behind many, uh, you know, uh, open source software, you know, very popular software platforms. It's against open source. In fact, it's probably the most most famous uh, um, big data tool that that uh, we know as of today. Hadoop, another very popular uh, big data system. So it's basically some something similar to Spark. It's a system for distributed storage uh, based on computer cluster. It also combines the computing power of so many servers or computers, and uh, it also helps doing you know storing large data set and doing computation on on large very very large data set. Something that is impossible to do uh, within uh, with the help of traditional systems. We cannot store that kind of a data in traditional relational databases. And we cannot even do computation on uh, on a single system. So now Hadoop, Spark, these are the tools that come to the rescue for big data. Elasticsearch is is a distributed search engine that relies on uh, on on large data set, and it also helps um, harnessing the power of uh, big data. Um, and it's basically mainly uh, built for the cloud. Okay. So this is uh, heavily used by the uh, e-commerce uh, companies for, for search purposes. Amazon has come up with Amazon DynamoDB. Uh, it's, um, it's not uh, open source. Uh, it's from Amazon as, as, as the name has Amazon in it. So it's not open source. It's, 
it's basically a cloud data set, a cloud database, uh, and and the system and you, you know companies pay to use Amazon uh, DynamoDB, which is which is a large uh, or big data uh, system, um, and companies do pay for it, unlike other softwares I've talked before that are uh, open source. Uh, CouchDB is another one, uh, which is similar to the MongoDB. It's again NoSQL open source. Uh, Apache Hive is uh, it's more of an SQL-like layer on top of Hadoop, uh, where you can do querying uh, your uh, you know data from uh, Hadoop system and so on. So it also uses uh, the MapReduce algorithms and all. So something that was developed by Google initially. So that's also another popular uh, system used in the big data system framework. Pentaho is um, is one thing that is from Hitachi. It's again a BI tool, uh, basically used uh, in the big data system for visualization, advanced analytics, and and so on. It's uh, it's a commercial platform again, where people you know companies have to uh, pay a certain amount of money to use the platform on cloud. So these are some of the important tools you can of course explore more. I've just listed, listed out nine, uh, some of the most popular uh, big data uh, 